How's everybody doing? Yeah? Yeah, it's dead week, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah, I, was, uh, I haven't worn this tie in a year, and there's a blood stain on it, so <laughs> I guess PLU Feud got a little wild. I'm excited. Are you guys excited for PLU Feud tonight? You know that's happening again? Yeah. Yeah, we took real answers that you all did and put it in a game. That's going to be fun. Um, I suppose you all want to hear me talk about the news, yeah? Yes! Yeah? <laughs> there's like this like weird like tension in the room as if I'm about to like give you an exam and you're not sure. <laughs> Anybody else feel that? This is just, uh, sorry, I'll tell the news now. In an article, the Tacoma News Tribune read, er, in an article, I screwed up the first line. <laughs> an article. In the Tacoma News Tribune read, Tacoma residents transform fence into controversial art. What was so controversial? Big lettering that said, hello, how are you? <laughs> Which is only controversial in Washington where people just assume everything is sarcasm. <laughs> people are just angry right now, I feel like. They're like, it is I don't want to think about how I'm doing, but hey, at least uh, now you can lie to a sign about how you're doing instead of having to do it to an actual person. <laughs> Mass robbers hit three businesses back to back to back in Tacoma, and after three robberies, police asked in an article, do you recognize this person? How are you going to recognize that person? <laughs> you can't see anything past the Michelin Man costume. <laughs> Usually robbers wear all black when they rob something. Well, this guy, he got festive and decided to pull off a heist by wearing a snowman costume. <laughs> There's just one, like, pittering laugh that... <laughs> Another article came out that asked if anyone recognized a woman who's been stealing packages. Is there, a, like, a, de a detective in Tacoma? Do we not have one of those? Uh, but there is a sheriff because in a statement he said, unfortunately, tis also the season for porch pirating. I know people should, I know people should do to keep their packages safe though. They should just add a dual authentication system. <laughs> Nobody would steal something that's that inconvenient to get access to. <laughs> Uh, if you remember this uh, from last month, the Tacoma area has implemented a scooter and bike rental service. But now the police are cracking down on anyone who uses them without a helmet. But the thing is, they don't supply helmets with the bikes and scooters. <laughs> what are people supposed to do? Carry helmets in their pockets? <laughs> and if that's the case, this crackdown is pretty biased against women because you can't put something in your pockets if you don't have pockets in the first place. I almost said I feel your pain, but it's not true. That was for the females on, the, uh, on our staff. They, uh, yes, yes. A new finding showed that shoplifters cost the average Washington family $400 because stores have to raise their prices to cover costs. Uh, based on Ohm's prices, it must be shoplifted from all the time. <laughs> so this holiday season, if you're planning to shoplift, please stop and consider that you may be raising prices for your friends and then just maybe you'll find it in your heart to steal some for them too. <laughs> Zoo Lights is happening again at Point Defiance. They're using over 700,000 LEDs. That is a lot of electricity. I feel like shining the thing that is killing animals right into their faces, little over the top. <laughs> hey, I guess what better way to get zoo animals into a zoo than by, you know, destroying their environments. That's very sad, but I can think of someone who would enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that one was like a meme for like a month over the summer? We just, I never talked about it with anyone in person. It just like, it just happened. <laughs> a Florida man broke into a home, ate all the snacks, drank all the booze, and then left paintings on the bathroom wall. Man, Florida's version of Santa, pretty messed up. Yeah. Rather than leaving coal if you're naughty, he just leaves low-grade artwork that says kill. <laughs> yeah, in Seattle, art that asks how you're doing is controversial, but in Florida, it's just artwork is much more straightforward. All right, that was the monologue, everybody. Thanks for, thanks for listening. Are we doing okay now? Are we feeling a little bit better? Yeah!
Yes, okay. We have a great show for you. We'll be back with more right after this.